Hello everyone, welcome to Code Enzyme. And in this video, let's discuss this problem equality etiquette from Starters 117. And before starting this video, I would like you to hit that like and subscribe button because majority of my viewers have not subscribed to my channel and uh, and it doesn't cost you anything, but it will help me a lot. So let's first read the problem statement. You are given two integers a and b, and you would like to make them equal. And to do this, you can perform several moves. On the ith move, you can if the i is odd, you can either add i to a or you can add i to b and if i is even then you can subtract i from a or b okay and we want to find the minimum number of moves that are required to make them equal so this is the input format and output format and con the constraints are uh, 10 to the power 9 so we have to solve it in log n or uh, uh, big of one time okay let's see so we have uh, i mean i can discuss the test cases but the explanation is pretty clear here so i will not discuss the test cases let's just directly jump to the approach okay so we have uh, let's uh, now i'm directly discussing the approach here okay so we have two integers x and there will be some difference between these integers right so let's say the second integer is x plus d and in one move i can either decrease this difference in the first move or i can increase this difference right similarly in the second move i can either decrease this difference by minus 2 or i can increase the difference by plus 2 similarly in here also i can do minus 2 and plus 2 and so on right and one of and in after some of the moves we want to find the shortest part which i can reach to zero right so what I can say is uh, from D I can I I can either plus one or minus one then plus two or minus two till some plus n or minus n the minimum value of n such that this uh, summation will be equal to zero and actually what I can uh, one more thing that I can say is uh, uh, let's say I have some integers D one two till n and uh, i want to divide these uh, numbers into two sets okay uh, with equal sum like uh, for example let's say for uh, n equals to uh, i mean let's say for d equals to something like uh, d equals to 3 if i if my difference is 3 then uh, what can i do like okay if my, if my difference is 3 then i can add 1 and 2 to this and I can make two sets whose uh, 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 sum are equal. So I can say, okay, for d equal to 3, my answer will be 2, like that. So basically, what we have here is uh, we want to say, okay, uh, we want to say, like, okay, we are adding some elements to this uh, difference, right? Like we have d, then I can either do plus 1 or minus 1, and so on. So uh like how how should we approach this like obviously the maximum sum of this is n into n plus 1 by 2 and if my n into n plus 1 upon 2 is less than d then this is impossible right so this should be greater than equals to d that means n into n plus 1 is uh, greater greater than or equal to 2d which implies the uh, which implies n is approximately equal to square root of 2d right now from this what can i say like uh, i know my n is square root of 2d um, but uh, let's say for d equals to 5 what is square root of uh, uh, 10 square root of 10 is around 3 right but uh, if i have 1 2 and 3 the sum is 6 but i can't uh, separate them into two sets with the equal sum uh, so for this I will have to keep adding my, the elements now why is this like the sum is 6 and the number is difference is 5 so the parity is different this is odd and the sum is even so we can't uh, do that so I have to keep adding the elements till uh, till the parity matches now right uh, till my parity matches like okay uh, if i have five elements the sum is uh, 5 into 6 30 by 2 is 15 so the uh, so this becomes odd and the this was also odd so i can make two sets 5 comma 5 and 1 2 3 4 
uh, whose sum are equal so for d equal to 5 the answer will be 5 right so I think you get the approach now let's just try to code this up very quickly so let's uh, make a new file okay and this time someone requested me to code in C++ so I will do it in C++ okay now let's have two integers x comma y or uh, let's say a or a comma b then let's take them as the input and let's take d equals to absolute value of a comma a minus b right now what did i say here my uh, n into n plus 1 should be greater than or equal to 2d right so let's say int n is equals to square root long long of uh, 2 times d now I am still not sure that uh, n into n plus 1 is greater than or equal to 2d uh, is greater than or equal to d right so I will say okay while n times n plus 1 uh, upon 2 is uh, less than d then uh, till then I will say n plus 1 and after this I also have to do something I have to check the parity like uh, mod 2 should be equals to equals to d mod 2 till then I have to do n plus 1 and once this is equal then I can simply print my n uh, let's see if this is working so we got a wrong answer because uh, okay uh, okay if my d equals to equals to uh, let's handle some corner cases if my d equal to equal to 0 then I will simply print uh, uh, 0 handle and return right otherwise like okay n into n plus 1 upon 2 I think this is because uh, I am doing this here not here Uh, let's just add some extra brackets for extra clarity right actually not d equal to equal to it should be it should be not equal to d mod 2 uh, i was mis making a mistake uh, now it passes the test case now let me just remove the comments so this is the code and let's try to submit this and see if it is working yeah so it gives us a correct answer and if you were able to understand this kindly like this video and subscribe to my channel and i will see uh, and i will see you guys next time thank you